The deal, which includes a 10% raise over three years, was approved by 79% of the rank and file. But that number may be misleading. I don't think that the overwhelming passing of this vote is any indication that there's a celebration going on. We're making what we made in uh, 2015, what we made in 2009, hardly something to be uh, overwhelmingly excited about. The fact is we have many, many issues that San Jose needs to address. We have hundreds of officers fleeing for other departments. This is the first step the council has taken to address any of that. We have six officers who, after this deal was announced, uh, are walking out the door this week. San Jose Police Union board member James Gonzalez says cops are continuing to leave for one simple reason. Officers can make a a lot more money doing the same job in uh, any of the surrounding cities. Pretty much this doesn't necessarily change that. This is a small step, far too late, in, in the direction of getting San Jose somewhere in the ballpark of being competitive. In San Jose, Mike Colgan, KCBS. The contract, which provides a 10% raise over three years, was approved by almost 80% of the rank and file. But police union board member James Gonzalez says that number is deceiving. With almost 80% of the officers passing this contract, is no way indication that anybody feels that this is where we need to be. We're going to make in 2015 what we made in 2009. Uh, mortgage payments uh, are behind for many of our officers. We're fleeing by the hundreds for other departments. We have six officers after the announcement of this deal who are leaving this week. Gonzalez says indications are the exodus of officers will continue despite this deal. Officers are continuing to leave because there are many, many problems uh, in San Jose that this is not going to fix. Uh, Bringing wages in 2015 to what they were in 2009 is only a small piece of the picture. We still pay far more in contributions than uh, anyone else into our benefits. More than 200 officers have left over the last two years. In San Jose, Mike Holden, KCBS. The overwhelming approval would seem to signal an end to the bitter feelings here between police and the city, but that's hardly the case. The backstory of this contract deal uh, that doesn't really reflect in the 80% of our officers passing it is that we're just uh, bewildered as to why it would take hundreds of officers leaving uh, for, and skyrocketing crime in our city for them to act on this crisis that we've had here in San Jose. Uh, we're going to be making in 2015 what we made in 2009. It's hardly something to get excited about. Uh, we have six officers who signed the papers to leave this week after uh, knowing about this deal. So we're nowhere close to uh, a total fix. San Jose Police Union board member James Gonzalez says many other issues need to be addressed to stem the officer exodus. Many things, including disability protections for our new recruits, need to be addressed. Uh, Our recruits take out private insurance to be police officers in San Jose because the city is the only one that doesn't provide those protections to their families. So there'll be many, many things that need to be uh, fixed going forward still. In San Jose, Mike Holden, KCBS.